Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my Instagram live and podcast. Hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy, uh, and having an amazing 2022. Uh, I am going to be live today with Brett Shefford. Uh, he's a content coach or coach, uh, a creator coach, which he's going to join me very shortly. Uh, thank you to all of you that are joining right now. Uh, I'm going to ask a bunch of questions to Brett and he's going to let us in how he's been able to build his own brand and how he's grown it so far and what the journey has been like and also tips on how to grow with reels. Uh, it's, it's not easy. We're all, you know, trying to do the same thing. And for those of you that are looking to grow on social media through videos, uh, you know, I think this, this is the best, you know, one of the best episodes to find out more. And if we have time, we'll, uh, you know, we'll let you guys ask some questions to Brett, but, um, uh, we'll, we'll expect, uh, to have him about 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll fire those questions away and, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can do a Q and a at the end for you guys too. So Give me one second. I know it's still early, but I'm going to search for Brett here. Yeah, Brett is awesome. Um, if you go into his social media, he actually has the blue check mark from Instagram too. And maybe he'll let us in how he got that. But, uh, you know, he's he's been doing this for a long time. I've been following him for a few months. Uh, and in, in a matter in the matter of the last few months, for me, he's been very inspiring because I can see him posting one, two, three times, sometimes even more than three times a day. So seems like he's got it like, you know, narrowed down, you know, uh, to the T and it's pretty... Um, it's pretty amazing, you know, to see the type of consistency. And it's kind of been an inspiration for me too, to like do at least like one post a day, whether it's a reel, a post, um, trying to stay more active on my stories. Uh, let's see, bread, bread, bread. Let me try them again. But yeah, it's been really inspiring for me uh, seeing him post every day. And it's kind of been a motivator for me to do the same. Uh, again, it's I think it's at the end of the day, it's like a mindset type of game that, um, you know, you you have to like be in the mindset that, hey, I'm going to post every day. It's kind of my job. It's my duty. Uh, I'm going to make it part of it, uh, part of my my, you know, daily routine. And uh, that's, you know, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, let me see here. Brett, 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 he's here. Let's see. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to accept it. Let's see one more time. I hit accept. Um, I don't know if you're... There you are. Hey. How you doing? Good, how's it going? I was trying to get my internet to work and it's, I don't know what's going on, but it's nice hey, to see you. Likewise, likewise. Thank you so much for doing this. And uh, yeah, you, you owe me like a minute and a half, you know? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you all the time you need. It's all good. Sounds good. All right. Now, I, I already like uh, warned the audience, you know, we'll do about 15, 20 minutes. And then maybe if there's some time at the end for a Q&A, um, you know, we'll, we'll do that as well. But thank you so much for doing this. You know, I'm all about, uh, you know, like educating others, helping others. Uh, so and, and I know you are the same, too, but you're 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 a fascinating guy. And I love all the content, all the reels. Uh, so without further ado, Brett Shefford. Um, tell us, you know, briefly about yourself and how'd you get started on social media? 
Yeah, sure. So, well, I, first off, I just want to say thank you for asking me to do this. I think it's always great to find community in this. That To me, social media is all about community. It's all about people. It's all about relationships. And um, so many people, I think, miss out on that because they think it's about sales or they think it's about promoting. And, um, you know, I, for me, it was always started with this curiosity. I love people. I was always curious about people. I want to stay in touch with the people I know. I'm very loyal to the people in my life, like almost to a fault, you know? And, sure. um, and so when social media came out, you know, when, God, I mean, I remember when, you know, my space came out and uh, that showing my age. So <laughs> I'm older, which I think is also what really sh for me has always been a huge part of my community is being somebody who always found social media very easy. The people in my community always kind of came to me for guidance and help and um, because they didn't see it uh, for what it, for the value that I think it can provide. So I started MySpace. I started when Facebook became available and, um, and have always just been very curious about how to constantly connect with people on a deeper level. And social media, of course, allows us to do that on a global level. I mean, look at you and me. It's pretty, pretty amazing. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I remember MySpace too, where you could like customize your profile to have like background music. That was, that was, <laughs> that was the jam. That's awesome. And then, I mean, I had Friendster. I had... Um, there was a couple other ones that I had too. And, and then Facebook, of course, won. So yeah, they did. Yeah. I think high five was another high five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what channels are you using mostly? And is there a reason why? I, so I've always, you know, when, when I'm working with clients, I typically say one to three platforms should be your primary platform because the way I look at social media is, it's like speaking a, a foreign language. Like you're never gonna be fluent in one language if you're trying to speak, you know, Japanese as well as French, as well as, you know. So you, you need to focus on and immerse yourself really in one language, you know, two, maybe three at the most. And for me, it's always kind of fluctuated, right? So when the shutdown, when the pandemic hit, I was like really into TikTok. <laughs> and I've always been very, very experimental, you know, I was like playing around on TikTok. And then Instagram brought out Reels. And I was like, well, screw it. I'm just going to make Reels. And Reels and, you know, Instagram, so brilliant, kept me on the platform uh, with Reels. So Instagram is my main platform. And then I make long form content on YouTube. Um, because, and the reason I really primarily focus on those two is, Number one, I love the evergreen quality of YouTube. I love the fact that I may, I still make money off of a video I made in 2013, That's right? Amazing. You know? I uh, love So it's like the, the evergreen living, the, li the living life, uh, you know, for, for, a, for a piece of content on YouTube can pay off in dividends more than any other platform. And then, uh, you know, in Instagram, not only because I think it's the most used platform, but it's the most versatile platform. I can do long form, short form, okay. images, lives, you know, you can do so many things. I like the versatility that, that Instagram gives me. Curious, how many followers do you have or subscribers do you have in YouTube, on YouTube? And how long did it take you to monetize? So interestingly enough with YouTube, like I said, I've always kind of fluctuated I took a break from YouTube in 2019, 2020, really. So I think that if I had stayed cons consistent, I'd probably have a ton more followers, but I'm about 2,500 subscribers now. And, yep. um, and at the time when I started it in 2016 is really when I kind of committed to my YouTube channel. It didn't, it was a different way to monetize then. So I was able to, to kind of get, get on the game with that pretty quickly. But then, you know, I have another account, Broadway Husbands, uh, which my husband and I run that is a, more of a lifestyle account. And we only have 600, I think there's six, six, 670 subscribers at this point. So we can't even monetize on that channel yet. So gotcha. it's, it's slow, you know, YouTube is a long game. And I think a lot of people underestimate that.
Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah. My accountant just called me about my taxes. All right, call me. I, to I told her to leave a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, YouTube is definitely a long game. Uh, I can see that I've, I've made a couple of attempts to go at it, unsuccessful. I think I'm gonna stick to Instagram for now. If, you know, it, it's I love Instagram because it's kind of like a hub, right? You kind of have short form, long form stories, right? Now you got shopping in there too, and if you're able to create a good brand and and you know instagram i think you can you can do everything from there uh, you can you can i think i think that most people just get a little bit stuck in wanting to grow really fast and see that number growth and um and instagram of course right now i think a lot of people are kind of complaining about how quick how hard it is to grow but i don't think they'd be complaining about it if they weren't on TikTok seeing how quickly you can grow on TikTok. TikTok is true. is a much easier platform to grow your following on if you're very niche and stick to your niche. Exactly. But, in, but Instagram, there's so much more versatility and so much more, there's so many more ways to, to express yourself that I think that there's higher value and you're going to make more money because people are going to be more committed to you and not just your content, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and one thing that I notice when I look at people's profiles is how many posts they have. And I, I mean, you have like what, 30 something thousand followers, which is amazing. But you look at how many posts you've done. You've done like over five grand, uh, 5,000 posts. It, it, it's like, you know, like you can see why you're able to achieve and it goes back to being consistent, right? And you can tell us more about that. Yeah, I mean, that's ultimately, you know, it's like a, we hear it all the time. Consistency is key. But the there's a reason we hear it all the time, because that's really what it's about. People trust you if you show up and they're going to trust you if you show up and you show up, you know, with your warts and all like if you're imperfect, you, it doesn't matter because people want to connect with you as a human being. And if it's about connection, if it's about building trust, then it's not about being perfect because human beings are not perfect. We are, we are inherently flawed creatures. We are animals. And if you can't show all of who you are, you're going to miss out on the opportunity to make real connections with people. And I, that's the thing I see so many people get stuck on is they stop making content because they're waiting for the content to be perfect. And it's, it, you're never going to grow your following if you're waiting for it to be perfect because you're missing out. You're just missing out on that connection. A hundred percent. And I think a lot of people get stuck on looking at other accounts that maybe have like a marketing department that manages. <laughs> it's like, do your own thing, you know, like it, it's uh, everyone to their own. Uh, I mean, if you can afford to hire, you know, like a, graphic designer that will do these very nice posts for you perfect but for most of us i would i would say that you know like, and i think it's more fun too right creating your own yeah i i think it's you know to me i think the way what what shifted for me in showing up consistently is i want to be a person of integrity i want the people who know me not just in real life but the people, I want who I am in real life to be exactly who you see online. I want them to be the exact same thing. I don't want to just curate this version of myself online and then be this, because I've seen, we've met those people, right? We've met those people. You're like, you're so fun in your content. But then when I meet you in person, you're like cold hearted and not very nice. <laughs> um, and right. Or, okay. vice, or, or vice versa. Right. And and I just like, I want social media to just be an extension of who I am as a person. And so for me, who I am as a person is I'm, I have integrity. I show up for the people I care about on a consistent basis. And so that means that if I say I'm going to make a piece of content every day, then I'm going to make a piece of content every day, no matter how good or bad or quality it is. And that, so that, that means 5,000, I don't, I've never even looked at how many posts I've made, but 5,000 posts later, I'll tell you, probably a good percentage of those are crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
but it, it 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 goes to show that you know it doesn't happen overnight. It takes effort. You know, it takes a yeah. lot of time. Commit and commitment. It's just me honoring your commitments. I think that that's the thing. Is that I say to myself, if I don't show up today with a piece of content for my audience, then the my that person who follows me is not going to get the message that I know they need to get through this day to to improve who they are or to succeed at what their dreams are. And that's my hope is just to help people get closer and closer to what they want to succeed at in life. Absolutely. And you're doing it. So thanks. Uh, you're like a real king. <laughs> um, so how how are you managing to create so much content content, primarily reels, right? Do you have like a content calendar or um, you know, like what's the strategy behind, or is it just mindset, right? I think a big part of it is mindset. Um, I think a big part of it is for me, um, like I said, I've committed, right? I said to myself, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to commit to making two posts, two reels a day and a feed post. And I've, I, you know, I've always, like I said, it's about experimenting and trying and seeing what happens. And when I made that commitment, my platform grew and has continued to grow. So if I know I'm gonna make two reels a day, then I'm gonna wake my ass up in the morning and I'm gonna make a reel. And, or I'm gonna find those times when I had the energy and the creative juice to just batch a bunch of reels and have them, you know, save them in my, in my drafts so that I have them and I can just commit to posting. That is, so my strategy is literally post two reels a day, one in the morning, one at night, post a feed post in the day. And I constantly just think about my pillars of content. I have five pillars of content that I try to constantly cycle through that reiterates my personal brand. So one of them is creativity, which for me, Disney is a big part of that. So, cause Disney inspires me, inspires my creativity. So you'll see a lot of Disney stuff. I love I'm sober and I, so I like to talk about coffee a lot and sobriety and like, cause I drink a lot of coffee since I don't drink anything else. That's my vice. And I talk about marketing and branding and social media. And then I talk about inspiration and self-help and personal development. So I cycle through those pillars and I'm constantly thinking, okay, how, if I'm, if I have this real batched or I have this audio, how can I, make this audio speak to my audience so that they feel seen. I just think, how do I tell a story with this so that the person watching it goes, oh my God, Brett gets me. He totally, it's like he's in my head. I, I and, agree. I, you've gotten in my head a couple of times, especially with the reel about the coffee, you know, like, <laughs> like if you lose coffee, it's like, what do you live for, right? <laughs> it's so true. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, okay? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And I think you got you got a, a good amount of views on that. So I think a lot of people agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, no, that, that was going to be exactly my question. You know, like what's behind the successful L'Oreal, but you kind of like nailed it right on. You have your own strategy, your own pillars of success. And, um, you know, I think I've been doing more, um, you know, saving more drafts and batching my, my content too. Not always ideal, but it, it's good to have them saved for a time that you're in a creative state of mind. Correct. I think that's a lot of people, <clears throat> it's, you know, you're, you're not always going to be in the mood. So you want to, you want to stock up on your inspiration. You want to have a, a place where you can go. I got to make something. I told my audience, I committed to this. How do I, well, but I'm not in the mood. I'm pissed off. There's a war happening. God, you know, and by the way, like, so many prayers to the people yeah. who are being affected right now, you know, it's chaos. And so how do you show up in those moments when life hits and still continue to serve your audience? Well, you do that by having places where you go, okay, here's an inspiration source, or here's, I batched those things on Tuesday. And I've, I, I've got plenty of places to go to do that. But there are days where I literally open up the app. I'm not even kidding. There are times where I, you know, probably even once or twice a week where I literally open the app. I don't have anything batched and I literally open up the reels tab and the first audio that pops up, I think, 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this, and I and I record it, and I figure out a way. And those always do better than anything that I've ever like, tried to do. That's it's it's crazy. Yeah, I um you know a few days back, or maybe more than a few days back, I I just responded to like a um, a reel a, a a comment with my reel, right? And that ended up getting me like twenty nine hundred views, and it was it, it's like why there's no rhyme or reason sometimes it, uh, again i mean if i'm getting more than a thousand views for my you know for my audience you know that that that's usually like successful like within the first 24 hours usually they'll get more than a thousand after but that got like 2900 views in a matter of an hour and i'm like what happened so it, it's like you don't know it's it's a great surprise <laughs> Yeah, well, I, you know, so I really like to teach and I'd love to, is it okay if I put a link down here for people to check out this free download? Yes, please do. And uh, I can pin it for you. So um, because I have this free, it's I call it the creative visibility map. Yep. And it's kind of my like, ro it's totally free to download, but it's my little roadmap. On how, on how you can start to clarify your personal brand and get really clear on your content. And um, and what I try to do is hopefully this will work. Um, I can pin it. Yeah. Okay. Um, creative visibility map, but it's like a, a free download that you can. You know, I use the map of Disneyland kind of as a as an an analogy for how we can build our personal brand because it doesn't have to be so serious. I think so many of us see business coaches who are like. 10x your following and grow, 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 grow. It's like, no, nah, it can be fun. It can be creative. It can just be an extension of, of yourself. And but, you I was, but I wanted to say to you when you're talking about reels is I think what I miss a lot, and I want to make this really clear to people is think about telling a story in your reels. And a story always has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And so many people are missing out on this element of telling a story because yes. You know, a story has to have that hook right at the beginning, the thing that's going to intrigue them. It could be the caption, right? It could be the, the text, right? That's so good. But you need to, you need to take people on a journey. And, a, and there are stories that are, that can literally, you could t how efficiently can you tell a story? Can you tell a story in three words? Can you tell a story in six words, right? Just give people a, an, a lived experience in 15 seconds. I love That's that. That's all you have to do. And so I think, you know, for me, having spent years as an actor, a lot of times what I think about when I'm making a reel is, and this is just inherent in me because I'm trained in this, but I know a lot of people don't have that, is you want to think about your environment, who you're talking to, right? Those are the, like the very important parts of telling us, of playing a scene, of telling a story. So your environment means like, where are you? Are you in, and this is why I see a lot of people missing out on. They don't use the timer. Exactly. So, right, you'll see their finger like pull away as it starts to record. <laughs> and I'm like, use the timer. You know, walk, walk into the scene, walk out of the scene, like act like you're in, in a scene with somebody. And if you, if you can tell a story, in as if in as short a time as possible, your reels are going to explode. I love that. that. That was such a great visual. As you're talking, I'm like, wow, I could be doing this or I could be doing that. And it's so true that people miss out on like, or, or like, even if you don't use the timer, you could cut off that initial part of it. It's like easy tricks, but having a content creator coach like yourself, you know, it makes it so much easier, right? Yeah. Um, I meant to ask you, how'd you get the blue tech mark? Was that from your acting days? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Just, I, I woke up one day and I had a blue check on Instagram and I got a blue check on Facebook and I was like, what did I do? Um, but it, just been, <laughs> it had been years of working in the industry and I love that. Yeah. Do you have a lot of like press out there? for your name that yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that, i've been in, i've been interviewed in like the huffington post and a bunch of different uh articles especially over the years about my acting and then of course now uh that i'm coaching you know for influencers so that's amazing yeah. i know you touched up on this uh earlier but why is 
you know, briefly, why is personal branding important, right? And the, you know, day that we live in and, you know, like in, in this age of digital content, right? <laughs> uh, and and uh, how has that helped you scale your business? Well, I think that personal branding is, is more important than, and this is why I teach personal branding and not social media, because social media can be fleeting, right? We've, like we said, we talked about MySpace, it no longer exists. It's tried to come back, it didn't work, right? Social media is fleeting, but like you as a person are a brand. A brand is just your reputation. And you have a reputation whether you're making an effort or not, right? So you might as well make a little effort into building a reputation that people, that, that you're curating and people aren't deciding for you. And what for me, building my own brand over the years has allowed me to pivot. I've pivoted from doing musical theater to doing TV, to doing film, to coaching, to, I was a life coach and now I'm a social media and marketing branding coach. So like it's, I've been able to pivot and I've done all of that because I built a name for myself that I could take with me no matter where I put my energy. That's and so I think that's super important. I think a lot of people get very, you know, wanting to separate who they are and what they do. And this day and age, especially now, especially in the last three years, people do multiple things. So many of us are multi-passionate and we, people want to be able to know that they can be multi-passionate and be a, be a whole person and be a complete person and make money and be successful. And to me, I've been able to do that in, in so many ways and I want to help other people do the same. Do you find with your, with your clients or mentees, do you find that they, you know, their focus is they want to grow right away and get to 10,000 followers or 50,000 when, um, I think personal branding is, Hey, for me, I'm a loan officer, right? I'm a lender. You know, I talk about that, but at the same time, I want to educate about home buying and other things in between. Right. Yeah. But a lot of times I feel like we all have this surge. Oh my God, it's taken me so long, right, to grow. But at the end of the day, hey, you're the more you're posting about you know yourself, what you do, it's like the the more people you're helping out there, and that's what's building your personal brand. Even if you have five thousand or one thousand followers, you're making an impact. Yeah. Well, yeah, and. And all you need is a thousand true fans, right? There's that, that book, right? You just need it. I forget who wrote it, but you need a thousand true fans, right? And the truth is like, what, what's missing for so many people is they're so hung up on the numbers and thinking, I got to get to 10,000 for whatever. You don't even need that anymore to get the link sticker. Yeah. <laughs> or people who are like, I need to get verified. I'm like, yeah, but verified, I'm still having to make three posts a day. Like, it's not like all of a sudden my life got easier. And, you know, <laughs> so it's, it, it's about connection. It's about people. If you have 200 people following you and every single one of them comments on every post you make, and you talk to them in the DMs on a consistent basis, and you know exactly how to solve their problems, and you know exactly who they are and how they live, those people can make, can build your business for life. They're going to be with you for life, right? right? And there's a lot of people who have 10,000 followers, and they don't know how, they don't even know a fraction of who those people are, and they're not making any money because they're not making it about the the relationships and the people. And that's really the opportunity each of us have is to just make a deep connection with people through, through DMs, through the content we make, building trust, you know, uh, that's so much more important than your, than the numbers, you know? I, I can't, I can't agree more, you know, with, with what you've been saying. I mean, I think if we all see social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, wherever your, your place is, if we see it as this, big place to connect and help each other, I think it, you know, we're going to make it a better world, right? Um, there are some people that, that take advantage or want to be rich, you know, overnight or there's no such formula, right? If it's too good to be true, it 
it probably is, right? Have you, it, I haven't made this this reels yet, but there's that audio going around that's like, here's how to make five thousand dollars. What is it? Five thousand dollars residual, like residually every night, every night while you sleep. And it's like <laughs> I, and then and then it's like I that absolutely cannot happen. That absolutely does not happen. Nice. I don't know how to make that happen, and it's actually not a thing. Nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, actually, the last reel I made, you you inspired it, or I took the sound from you, the one with practice, practice. That's practice. a good one. That's yeah. a good one. That was good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just goes to show, you know, like it's powerful building your brand, connecting with your community. Um, and I, for me, I mean, I, I, I've been on social media, you know, kind of like you in MySpace, but, but literally started using it for my personal brand since November of 2019, December 2019. And it's been eye-opening, right? All the connections I've made in my industry and uh, it, it it's amazing, you know, and, and the amount of support you get on social media, it's like makes you become a better person and be better every day. Um, and that's why, you know, I'm like so grateful and I get to meet people like you, right? Which is yeah. amazing. Um, one word of advice to someone just getting started on social media, whether it's Instagram or any other platform that are looking to build a brand, what, what would it be from you? Make, make creating content a habit, not an event. So if every time you go to make a piece of content, it feels like you're putting on a Broadway play and you're like spending all this time and you're just exhausted and you're burnt out and you make a post, you're always going to be disappointed. It's never going to perform the way you want. Uh, there's all, you're always going to be frustrated. It needs to become a habit. So in, how do we build habits? We build habits by improving 1% every day, attaching, creating content to something you already do, making it so that it's easy, so that it's just like, okay, it doesn't have to be, I don't need to go from zero to a hundred right now. I can just go from zero. Like I, I like to use the metaphor of learning to drive a car. Yep. You're not going to, you're not going to get into a car and then just get on the freeway for the first exactly. time. Right. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta get in the car and learn how to start it. And then you gotta put your foot on the gas and learn how to use the brake and stop at a stop sign. You got to start slowly. You can't just like start and expect to get on the freeway. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. And uh, I think it's being patient too. There's, you know, like, I, I, I can't stress that enough. It's like, you know, it's not about, you know, the, the fine, we're all trying to get there, right? Growing and growing. We all look at our followers, but be patient, right? It didn't take, you know, Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, whoever you follow that has a million followers, you know, they, they, they've been grinding for years and years and years. Um, and, 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 I'll and tell you, like, you look at their, look at their, a lot of people are comparing their current content them, themselves that they're starting <laughs> off. They're looking at Gary Vee where he is now and thinking, I gotta be, I gotta be on everything. It's like, no, dude, like, go look at his early content. Yeah. <laughs> His wine library, I know. Right, it's a whole different thing. Like, and even now, like, he's got enough money to pay people to help him. If you're a solo person, make solo content. Make it imperfect. Just get it out there. Get your message out there. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you. I want to be respectful of your time. I'm very happy for you and your husband on your. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> We're so excited. Very, very happy for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I'm sure we'll stay in touch and keep, keep crushing it. You know, like I appreciate it. I'll keep watching your reels and uh, become more and more motivated. And I'm sure we'll, we'll talk again. Thank you. That, this, that means a lot. You know, you do. I, I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Take care.